Hello students, so let's try to solve one very nice problem from IIT Jam 2022 and this is NAT, numerical answer and type question. So what is this? A satellite is revolving about around the sun, uh, sorry, around earth in a closed orbit. So it is a closed orbit, the height of the satellite above the earth's surface at perigee and apogee are 2500 kilometer and 4500 kilometer respectively. And it is given that the radius of earth is 6500 kilometer. So what will be eccentricity of satellite? So you have to see all these number very carefully. It is given the radius of earth is 6500 kilometer and the height from the surface. So this is actually altitude from the surface, which is 2500 at the perigee means that the minimum distance and the 4500 at the maximum distance. So the most important thing is that how you are just try to make the complete picture. So in this thing, the, the biggest thing is the radius of earth. So let us try to make this figure completely. So we can assume this is our radius of earth and this is our perigee means minimum distance. So from the surface, it has distance only 2500 kilometer. And at the apogee, it has distance that is nothing but 4500 kilometer. And from there, we can have this orbit. So this is our orbit. And this is my center. This value is 6500 kilometer. And this value is also 6500 kilometer. So this is my center of this particular earth. And here you can have in this orbit we have satellite so what will be my r maximum so we my r maximum is equal to 6500 plus 4500 obviously in form of kilometer so this will be my r maximum so this is my r maximum and what will be my r minimum so this distance is my r minimum so my r Minimum is 6500 plus 2500 kilometer. So from there, we can have R maximum and R minimum. And what will happen at the R maximum and R minimum? We have equation of orbit that is L upon R is equal to 1 plus E cos theta. So we have L upon R maximum. We have cos theta must be so if r is maximum then cos theta must be minimum so that value is minus and we have l upon r minimum that means 1 plus e and from there we can find the eccentricity and that value is equal to e is equal to r maximum minus r minimum by r maximum plus r minimum so from there we can find this value and when you will put it this value so this value is 6500 plus 4500 minus 6500 plus 2500 divided by 6500 plus 4500 plus 6500 plus 2500. So when you will calculate this thing, then you have E is equal to the upper 65 is cancelled out. So this will be something you have 20, 100. And here you can easily calculate that is 130, 100 plus 70, 100. And that value is equal to 20 by 200. That means 1 upon 10, that is 0 0.1. So obviously, if in the Kepler and we assume that this is for the Kepler's problem. So obviously when we are doing for the Kepler problem, then eccentricity for the elliptical orbit must be between 0 to 1. So that must be fraction and yes, that value is fraction. So it's a very nice problem and uh, the good thing is about this problem is that you can solve much more thing about once you will get this one. You can find what will be energy of uh, this particular satellite into this orbit and all these things. So it's a nice problem. You have to just uh, do this one in a uh, complete way. Thank you.